please give it up for Jerry Robertson. And let's see our best of breed winners coming in. First of all, it's the Afghan Hound. Followed by the Bazenji. The Petit Basset Griffon Vendion. The Basset Hound. The Beagle. The Bloodhound. Followed by the Borzoi. The Long Haired Dachshund. The Miniature Long Haired Dachshund. The Smooth Haired Dachshund. And the Miniature Smooth Haired Dachshund. The Deerhound. Followed by the Finnish Spitz. Now the Greyhound. Followed by the Hamilton Savare. Next we have the Irish Wolfhound. The Norwegian Elkhound. The Pharaoh Hound. And the Rhodesian Ridgeback. The Whippet. And from A again, a C, the Sloogie. The Hound Group contains all sizes of dogs from the tenacious miniature Dachshunds to the mighty Irish Wolfhound. As the name of the group implies, the breeds share a common function of hunting, whether it be by scent or sight. The shorter-legged hounds hunting the ground by scent, with the sight hounds being longer-legged and built for the chase. The first of our breeds to be assessed is, of course, the Afghan Hound. They were judged today by Joe Ashwood, who had an entry of 72. He selected this bitch, number 1032, as his best of breed winner. The glamorous Afghan Hound, a typical sight hound and aristocrat of dogdom. The breed is thought to have first arrived in Britain in the early 1900s. The breed standard refers to strength and dignity, together with an oriental expression which contribute to an overall appearance of aloofness. The Afghan Hound, number 1032. Zengis were judged today by Irene Terry. She found her best of breed winner in this bitch, number 1083, from an entry of 25. History tells us that this poised, elegant little dog was a palace dog of the pharaohs of ancient Egypt. In the 17th century, they were sighted in the Congo, and it's from there that they were imported to Britain, with the first pair arriving in the 1930s. Known as the Barkless Dog, the breed expresses its pleasure with a crowing, yodeling noise. The Bazenji, 1083. Zara Robertson judged Petit Basset Griffon Vendion today. She received an entry of 20, and best of breed was this dog, number 1104. The PBGV, as the breed is more commonly known, was introduced to the UK from France in 1969. 
The breed's name in French reveals much about it. Petit, meaning small, Basset, low to the ground, Griffon, rough or wire-coated, and Vendion being the area of France from which the breed originates. A scent hound developed down to small game, such as rabbit and hare. The PBGV number 1104. Now we have the Basset Hound. This is a bitch, number 1109. She was awarded Best of Breed by Diane Reed. There were 14 entries. The Basset is a capable hound, competent at hunting his natural prey, the hare, at a relatively slow pace over prodigious distances. The breed was reputedly bred by monks in France during the Middle Ages to hunt in heavy cover, holding his nose close to the ground. While closely related to the other Basset breeds of France, the breed's development has flourished in Britain. The Basset Hound, number 1109. The Eagles were judged today by Carl Yarvenen. He received an entry of 72. And best of breed is this dog, number 1136. The Beagle is one of the most popular of the hounds. Despite success in the show ring, he retains his natural hunting instinct. Sturdy, bold and active, he is blessed with an equable and merry temperament. The origin of the name may have been derived from the French term Beagle, referring to the baying voice of the hounds when in pursuit of game, or possibly due to the breed's diminutive size. <coughs> this is the Beagle, 1136. Jenny Startup ran the rule over Bloodhounds today. She received an entry of 17 and awarded Best of Breed to this dog, number 1204. The Bloodhound is possibly descended from hounds once kept at the monastery of Saint Hubert in Belgium, but he has been bred and developed in Britain since before 1300. Originally used as a leashed hound in training in hunting deer and wild boar, he was also used from very early times to track humans. In Scotland, he was known as the Sleuth Hound, and up until about 1600, was used to pursue raiders and cattle thieves.
the Best of Breed winning Bloodhound, number 1204. Now we have the Borzoi. This is the bitch, number 1231. She was awarded Best of Breed by Beryl Andrew. There were 28 entries. Bred for centuries by the Russian aristocracy, the Borzoi is a hound of regal bearing. The name means swift in its native Russia, and the breed is built on lines of speed and grace. The earliest Borzoi seen in Britain were presented to Queen Alexandra by the then Tsar of Russia, following which the breed's popularity soon caught on. The Borzoi, number one, two, three, one. <laughs> Long-haired Datsuns were judged by Caroline friend Rees. She judged an entry of 15 and found her best of breed winner in this bitch Number 1237. The origins of the Dachshund can be traced back to working dogs that could go to ground after games such as badgers and rabbits. This is the first of six varieties that can be found in the UK, which comprise of three different coat types in both miniature and standard sizes. Long haired Dachshund, one, two, three, seven. Caroline friend Reese also judged the miniature long-haired Dachshunds. There were 22 of the breed entered today, and Caroline found her best of breed winner in this bitch, number 1267. Germany is the breed's home country, and a little translation of the name is Badger Dog. In Germany, sizes are separated not by weight, but by chest circumference, with three sizes being based on what size of hole they could enter when going to ground on the hunt. The miniature long head Dachshund, number 1267. The second of the Dachshund variety is the Smooth Haired. This bitch, number 1294, was awarded Best of Breed by Alison Morton from an entry of 37. 
The breed is characterized as moderately long and low with no exaggerations and should have a well-muscled body with enough ground clearance to allow free movement. Miniature smooth-haired Dachshunds were judged by Jay Morgan. From an entry of 40, best of breed was awarded to this bitch, number 1322. It should be borne in mind that the Dachshund is a short-legged dog, not a long-backed one. It is important that ribbing should extend well back and the loin should be short and strong, allowing him to perform his function. The miniature smooth head Dachshund, one, three, two, two. Mark Hannon judged deer hounds today, and from an entry of 30, he awarded best of breed to this bitch, number 1403. Mystery surrounds the origins of this breed, but there are grounds for thinking the deer hound may have been taken to Scotland by Phoenician traders. During the 16th and 17th century, the breed could not be owned by anyone of a rank lower than an earl, which almost led to the breed's extinction. The breed's fortunes, however, were turned around by breeders in the early 1800s. The best of breed, Deerhand 1403. Now we come to the finished bits. The judge, Norma Window, attracted an entry of eight and awarded best of breed to this bitch, number 1425. These bright red dogs of typical spit shape are unusual in that they hunt small birds and give considerable tongue while doing so. The Finnish Spitz is a national dog of Finland with a written standard going back to 1812 
and a number of national patriotic songs include mentions of this breed. The Finnish Spitz, one, four, two, five. Greyhounds were judged by Liz McKnight. From an entry of 17, she found her best of breed winner in this dog, number 1442. The experts, although not unanimous, consider that the greyhound could have had its origins in the Middle East. Drawings of greyhound type dogs have been found on walls in ancient Egyptian tombs dating as far back as 4000 BC. As hunters in England, they were used on practically all kinds of game, such as deer, stags, and foxes but the hare is the breed's natural quarry. The Greyhound, one, four, four, two. Ayo Koskello judged Hamilton Stavare today. Best of breed from an entry of nine was awarded to this bitch, number 1453. A handsome, stylish breed which hails from Sweden, where it is one of the most popular of the hound breeds. It carries the name of Count Hamilton, who created the breed in the late 1800s. The Count was a connoisseur of hounds and one of the founders of the Swedish Kennel Club. His foundation dog and bitch for the Hamilton Savare were basically of English foxhound breeding crossed with German hounds. The best of breed Hamilton Savare, 1453. Now we come to the Irish Wolfhound. There was an entry of 33 today, and Ian Finney found his best of breed winner in this bitch, number 1476. Originally, the Wolfhound could be found with either a smooth or a rough coat, though in the early years there was probably great variance of type. After the last wolf was killed in Ireland before 1800, the breed almost died out and was further affected by the Great Famine of the late 1840s. There followed a restoration of the breed by 1870 and a breed club was in existence by 1885. The Irish Wolfhound Best of Breed winner 1476. Norwegian elk hounds were judged today by Leslie Cheatham. Best of breed was this dog, number 1497, from an entry of 25. A 
solid and sturdy hunter, it is thought that the Norwegian elk hound comes down to us through more than six millennia. An ancient breed from Scandinavia, the elk hound worked as a hunting and guard dog for the Vikings. The dogs tracked, encircled and held games such as bear and moose for the hunters. The Norwegian Elk Hound 1497. Rui Oliveira judged Farrow Hounds today, and from an entry of five, he found his best of breed winner in this bitch, number 1518. Anyone who has ever looked at the pottery or paintings in the tombs of ancient Egypt will recognize the Farrow Hound of modern times. The Farrow Hound became a native of Malta, an island colonized by the Phoenicians, around 1000 BC. They almost certainly took their dogs with them, and it was from that island that the first imports came with the breed finally establishing itself in Britain in the 1970s. The Pharaoh Hound, number 1518. This is the Portuguese Pedengo, and this was another breed judged by Rui Oliveira today. Rui awarded best of breed to this bitch, number 1528, from an entry of 23. It is thought that the breed is a descendant of the Pharaoh Hound, dispersed from Egypt and Asia to North Africa and the Mediterranean coast. It is possible that Phoenician traders introduced the Pedengo to Portugal, where they quickly established themselves as great rabbit hunters. The Portuguese word Pedengo means rabbit hunter or warren hound, and it is in this field that the Pedengo gained his reputation as a natural hunter. The Portuguese Pedengo 1528. Rhodesian Ridgebacks were judged today by Jackie Parker. From an entry of 98, the best of breed winner was this dog, number 1546. A native of South Africa, the Ridgeback was bred by the Boer farmers, who required a serviceable hunting dog in the wilds. They were introduced into Rhodesia in 1877, where big game hunters found them outstanding in the sport of hunting lions whilst on horseback. This unique feature of the breed is, of course, the ridge of fur along the back. The Vesa Breed Rhodesian Ridgeback 1546.
Before judging our toy group for us today, Dr. Anuka Palahemo officiated for Salukis. Anuka awarded best of breed to this dog, number 1669. This royal dog of Egypt, the Saluki has always been a much prized possession of the Arabs. They were held in such great esteem that their bodies were often mummified like those of the pharaohs themselves. His highly developed hunting instinct and the speed with which he moves over all types of terrain suit him well for work in the Middle East. Best of Breed Saluki, number Now we come to the Whippet. There was an entry of 201, and the judge, Maria Hills, awarded the top spot to this bitch, number 1813. Having evolved for over 100 years, it was not until 1891 that the breed was recognised by the UK Kennel Club. Used for racing in the Northeast early on, the breed was nicknamed the Poor Man's Racehorse. As races often had to be held in alleyways between houses, the dogs developed into straight racers, with some covering 200 yards in as little as 12 seconds. The best of breed whippet, one eight, one three. <laughs> and finally, from the any variety not separately classified. We have the Slugi. David Guy officiated for these today and found his best avian SC in this dog, number 1904, from an entry of 12. The name Slugi dates back to the Middle Ages, and the dog may have, as one of his ancestors, a type of wolfhound that existed centuries ago in North Africa, particularly the Sahara Desert region. And that, in turn, originates in Saudi Arabia. Though the breed has been on the European show scene for a number of years, it is only since the latter part of the 20th century that the Slugi has been known in the UK. The Slugi for AVNSC number 1904. Jerry's casting a final eye amongst all of our best of breed winners in the hand group. From which I suspect he will draw a shortlist for further consideration. First out is the smooth haired Dachshund, the Deerhound, the Greyhound, the Irish Wolfhound, the Norwegian Elkhound, the Rhodesian Ridgeback, and the Whippet. Can we have a big round of applause, please, for our other best of breed winners in the hand group? Congratulations and thank you very much. 
First off is the smooth haired Dachshund, number 1294. Now we have the Deerhound, number 1403. It's the turn of the Greyhound now, number 1442. The Irish Wolfhound, number 1476. The Norwegian Elkhound, number 1497. Rhodesian Ridgeback, 1546. Finally, it's the Whippet, number 1813. Jerry has made his mind up. And the winner of the Hound Group here at Richmond 2016, it's the Irish Wolfhound number 1476. In Group 2, Rhodesian Ridgeback, number 1546. Third place, it's the Greyhound, number 1442. And completing the lineup, it's the Whippet, number 1813. Thank you very much to our remaining shortlisted. Give them a big hand, please, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much indeed. And let's see our four place and group winners starting off with the Irish Wolfhound, the winner of the hand group here at Richmond 2016. Followed by the Rhodesian Ridgeback, the Greyhound, and the Whippet. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. We hope to see you again with us tomorrow, or perhaps returning for Best in Show Day on Sunday.